what is going on guys king atlas coming at you with an unboxing and review of the astro a50 wireless headphones these have got to be easily my favorite pair of gaming headphones that i've ever used of all time a last year's model and this year's model actually has some couple new features that really make these some of the best gaming headphones out on the market taking a look at what is in the box as you can see you have the gaming headphones themselves you have an optical cable micro usb cable a new charging dock which i'll get a little bit later into this video and the instruction guide slash warranty information taking a look at the headphones themselves as you can see they've kind of updated the colors for the xbox and pc model to this nice matte gray and very vibrant green i'm definitely digging the new color design as you can see they look very very similar to last year's model minus the proprietary like 2.5 millimeter astro jack that they decided to come out with that was actually kind of a pain in the ass one of the main things that i disliked about last year's model was this that you had to use this little adapter for the party chat they've got rid of that which is very very nice i'm very impressed that they got rid of that to now charging like a little magnetic charging base at the bottom of the headphones now as far as functionality goes they still stuck with the same design as far as voice and game control on the side of the headset you have your little volume control switch they have the three presets here so if you ever want to program your headset with corresponding games you can do that with these presets and you also have a new adobe button and the biggest thing is an on and off switch a dedicated on and off switch to actually distinguish if the headset is on or off that was my biggest gripe about last year's model was that you could just never tell if they were on or off you had to kind of fiddle around with the power button now also newly that they added was this charging dock they actually kind of took this feature from the turtle beach elite 800s but this is actually really nice to see they were kind of a pain in the ass to charge with that little small micro usb port now taking a look at the actual ports on this charging dock you see you have an aux cord optical in and out ports and a micro usb port installation is actually very simple all you have to do is plug the optical cable and the micro usb cable into the back of the charger and into the back of your xbox and you're all set to go functionality wise it's actually really really nice to have this feature like i said last year's model was a pain in the ass to really charge the micro usb port was just in a very inconvenient spot now you have a nice little led screen to show you if the dolby's on what kind of power your headset is on, all that kind of good stuff. Overall, with these new improvements, truly wireless game chatting, wireless charging, 7.1 surround sound, they increased the battery life to about 15 hours of battery life, which is huge. These really do make these stand apart as far as gaming headsets go. Easily one of my favorites. I would highly, highly recommend these. And not only are they just comfortable, they look really, really well. These are very high quality, durable, great sounding pair of gaming headsets. Like I said, this headset actually supports Xbox One and PC. They do have a specific model for PlayStation 4. So definitely check that out. I'll leave some links down below in the description. One of the nice things as well about these is that they're mod kit ready so that the ear ports can actually come off very, very easily as you can see right here. And you can swap some leather noise isolation ones on there. With Dolby 7.1 surround sound, these sound excellent. It's better than any other gaming headphones that I've ever used. I've tried the Elite 800s. I've tried multiple different gaming headphones. Never have I heard a better sounding headphones than the Astro A50. Absolutely love the last year's model. Everything that was bad about last year's model, they have fixed. I can easily recommend this to anybody that enjoys video games. They're a little pricey at $299, so $300 for these, but definitely worth your money. That's actually going to wrap up my review of the newly updated Astro A50 wireless headphones. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below in the box or let me know what you guys think of these headphones. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys go ham on that like button and subscribe for more content just like this one. And I'll be sure to see you guys in the next video. Peace.